All right, in the last video, we looked at edge flow and how to make it a form change from form to form to form. It, it's all in the same mesh, but this form is not disturbing this form, okay? They're two separate forms, but they're on the same mesh. Uh, this one has more of a rounded appeal. This one has this kind of tapered look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge myself and say, well, I want another form. I want a ball to appear right here, be part of the exact same study, and not disturb any of the other forms. How do I do something like that? Well, what I'm going to do is just add a sphere in here. So to do that, I'm in edit mode. Well, let's go back to object mode, I'm sorry. Let's go to object mode and go to cube and let's make that a ball via multi-resolution subdivide and sure right maybe one more subdivide. there we go okay so there we go we got a ball uh, then apply that change And then I'm just going to kind of move this into position, scale it down a little bit. Go into seven, kind of align this. To align it really well, I could take and look at um, the actual polygon structure via wireframe. And that way, when I'm moving this around, I can kind of get an idea where I want to put this. Okay, good. So I want a ball in this area, and it's not going to interrupt any of the other forms. That's a little bit different, okay? So I'm gonna take these two forms and first join them together. So object, join. Okay, and then I'm going to have to add that smooth modifier again, so multi-res modifier, and I can hit subdivide, and now you can see what happens. Ooh, I better back that down just a little bit here. It's getting kind of high. Maybe just a little bit more even. There we go. That's good enough. That way I can zoom around. So right now, these are actually two separated meshes. How would I add this mesh to the other mesh? Well, we've already done that. We've, we've studied that before. And here's why. This form needs to be joined to this form. Okay, that means I wouldn't just plop it down onto this form. At first, I would put a supporting edge loop in this area to join the ball to it. Uh, so, control E, then R, scale this in. And then thinking about flow, I would also want to take these vertices and kind of go like that. Okay. So I need four phases. Here, I can do the same thing. One, two, three, four. What I'm going to do is flatten this out first. It's going to help. Now, would I want to just delete these? Oh, no. No, think about flow. If I deleted these, the flow wouldn't be correct. First, I want to extrude them. Extrude, control E, okay? And then scale those in a little bit. Okay, now this flow, this change right here, which is really hard to see at the bottom of this ball, will support the sphere to be a sphere and this form to be its form. Okay, 
know that sounds confusing, but let's delete the faces now. And then we'll start deleting these faces. I'll put an extra edge loop in this area. And then we will start the bonding process. Now, it all depends what look you're trying to get. For me, I'm just trying to get maybe a cylinder to go to the ball. That would be kind of cool. That would be a good change. But if you wanted to go sphere to this form, you wouldn't have to put that extra edge loop in. Okay, so let me kind of just show you this. Okay, vertice, vertice, and then I'm going to merge those at center. Merge, center. Now this is some complex scalpeling Dr. Voodoo stuff going on here now. So if you can't see what's going on, I could switch the wireframe on you. Maybe that'll help. But what I'm looking for is that vertice right there to go to that vertice right there. And at least you can see what I'm doing because I have to man I'm I'm manually going over to the merge. I'm not hitting any magical keys here. Okay, so there we go. Let's go back to solid. So will any of the other form get interrupted by the new sphere change? Let's find out. Nope, none whatsoever. The sphere is part of that mesh. All the other forms are staying true. This is curved still and this is off because of topology. Doing a box select here. This needs to come over just a little bit. Go like this. There we go. Yeah, it needs to come over just a skosh. A little bit right there. There we go. Very nice. And I know it's not very appealing as far as, uh, well, what is it? But as far as form change goes, that's a pretty good challenge right there. So let's go into the next video where I kind of explain some more.